the French won an overwhelming victory at the Battle of Pont Valin. It was the first time the English had been utterly defeated during the war. But the triumph was short-lived. As England spent the next 60 years amassing French territory through alliances and victories at great battles such as Agincourt. It seemed that nothing could stop England. Who then could have foreseen that a teenaged girl was about to change the course of history? In 1429, France was in dire straits. Nowhere was it more evident than the besieged city of Orléans. The city was completely surrounded by English-held forts. But just a few days' ride away, here in Chinon, there was potential help. The French royal prince, the Dauphin Charles, was holed up in his fortress and under pressure to ride out to save Orléans. As Charles hesitated, a young peasant girl arrived at his court. Her name was Jeanne d'Arc. She claimed to have received saintly visions, giving her a divine task to help Charles become king and drive the English out of France forever. Charles was skeptical, but was soon convinced of her divinity. And he charged the 17-year-old with the near impossible mission to liberate Orléans. To Jeanne, this was the first step in realizing her God-given destiny. In April 1429, she rode out from Chinon at the head of her army to confront the hated enemy of France. Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 4. I know just we glossed over Agincourt. Wonder why. Well, I know why. It's because I'm playing the French campaign and they can't have me suffer a loss. It would demoralise me. Instead, let's besiege Orléans using Joan of Arc. I, I will probably call her Joan of Arc rather than Jeanne d'Arc. But you know, don't hold that against me. Surrounded by English strongholds and with its last line of defence under attack, the city of Orléans grew ever more desperate. In France's darkest hour, 17-year-old Jeanne d'Arc arrived with the king's army to liberate a city and prevent the fall of a nation. Okay, how powerful is a 17-year-old? Well, oh, she is beefy. I see a lot of structures. This is not a good sign. Just make some villagers who don't care what they do. Find something to do, people. There's one thing that's important. It's just pump out villagers. Like no one's business. Oh, I see we're being attacked on multiple sides. What's your superpower? Healing. That's quite holy. You do not need help, do you? They are swordsmen against stone walls. You know the French must have been getting desperate when they're fielding their 17-year-olds. As the commanders. The English had captured no less. a vital fortification known as Les Tourelles on the south bank of the Loire. Orléans would live or die on its access to supplies. Recapturing Les Tourelles would be key to saving the city. Anything else that could produce units? No, I think that's it. Okay. I'm going to go knights because it's fitting. 
Apparently, I'm capturing this. Well, we have a slight issue here. I'm going to acknowledge that this is broken. Had been destroyed by the French to prevent an English onslaught. Good damn it, we're idiots. Jeanne d'Arc had to find another way to cross to the south bank and make her assault on Les Tourelles. Probably gonna wait a bit because I think I'm gonna need siege in order for that. Oh, I do not have much in the way of siege. I was hoping for a trebuchet. But I guess that's historically inaccurate. What am I going to do then? Manganel it down? I suppose. If I use my healing here, I should be able to heal the archers on the wall as well. Yes, fantastic. That's the strategic stuff. I should probably get their shields out, right? Not on walls, never mind. I shouldn't get their shields out. That is not a good situation to find yourself in. Okay, step one. I'm going to want some archers for the walls. I want some knights just because. I can run defense. Sure. Melee armor sounds good. Ranged armor sounds good. The knights are going to go explore. They're going to overrun this. We should have a favorable matchup over here. Or they could just part ways. Like Moses, but with armies. I'm also going to need, I think, spearmen, because they can help burn down the battering ramps, and they don't cost any gold. Oh, hello there. Is this an ambush? Are they hitting me with tactics? Nope. Not, not in the slightest. So the truth of the matter might be that I have to just wait in the base for a while and not push out with all of my knights. Well, that's not going to happen. I feel like this is a terrible, terrible mistake, what I've done here. Okay, okay. I understand. So, strikes me that what we need to do is wait before we move out, because the knights are very much required for defense at the start. You took your sweet time. Oh yes, this is the joke fight. Well, they're doing better than last time. They're actually attacking the wall. Not a fan of that. Right, so this time we are going to wait a damn sight longer. It's a good thing they haven't noticed that the portcullis is open. We're going to get more upgrades. We're going to get more food. Basically more of everything. The English had captured the vital fortification known as Les Tourelles on the south bank of the Loire. Orléans would live or die on its access to supplies. Recapturing Les Tourelles would be key to saving the city. Very good, man. Very good.
Let's see, how much gold do we have? A lot. So knights are a viable option for me here. As is every upgrade on a mankind. Actually, what am I doing? I should get these kind of upgrades first. Economic ones. Yes, that makes sense. Play for the long game. Keep the villagers coming for now. And the upgrades. I don't want these platoons to aggro to me, but I do need to destroy the spring goals. So I'm probably going to kill them and then run away. Which will hopefully convince these troops to disengage. Yep. These are just the sort of border guards to stop me running about the map, I suppose. Doesn't seem tactically wise, but... I think it's here more as a gameplay element than historical accuracy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I see. Sure. Can we go to the next stage? No, we can't. Do we have an arsenal? We do, right? Yes, we do. Any other buildings we care about? We've got a monastery. Probably not going to see too much use. Maybe I'll get one monk. But Joan over here. Joan, yep. She has native healing of her own. I'm trying to remember how the announcer said it. The commentator, the voiceover. Because she didn't call her Jean. Which I guess is the male version. What was it? Was it Jean? French is a very confusing language. Maybe I shouldn't go with these, because these cost gold as well. But I'm quite, quite comfortable with the amount of gold I've got. Oh right, this is a tech that killed me last time. Except they forgot the siege towers. It's favourable. What I have is too much Having wood. Under the English siege so if you don't mind. Orléans had sent for crucial supplies, but English patrols threatened their arrival at the city. If Orléans hoped to receive the supplies, the French would have to clear the road of English raiders. I see the word optional. Starting to feel more confident with my upgrades and things now. That doesn't seem like the smartest move I've ever seen. You deserve that. Where's my monk? Get to work, man. Heal them with religion. I don't know, I don't understand it. I just know it helps. Go to a convoy. I think I'm going to need a couple of those later on. And I was happily building units. 
You really have to disturb me like this. Let's get the spearman upgrade and actually build a few. And we'll get the knights upgrade. Because that's the main bulk of my army. It's irritating that the guards protect the Springles. It's realistic. And that doesn't sit well with me in the slightest. I wish you the best of luck at building that. Considering you're dead. Okay, so after taking everyone off of wood, I'm now running out of wood. I suppose those two things are somewhat connected, aren't they? Have some of that. Have some of that. Have some of that. Any more upgrades people want? Mm, I don't think so. Stop building some of these. More of those. Just do need some wood because I want to build some siege engines. Probably best not to stand where they're unloading. Wow. I am impressed at the range that this red palace has. In fact, if it's well that kind of range, I'm going to get the defensive upgrade. Which I thought was useless because I just assumed it was out of range, but apparently not. This game's ever going to understand that I'm not going to do a single thing if it's optional. Seeing another supply convoy approaching the city, English raiders took up position on the road. The French needed to eliminate the enemy detachment if they hoped to receive the supplies. When you say, oh dear. Okay, this is a problem I didn't foresee. I don't know why I didn't foresee it, but I didn't. Calm down, people, calm down. I suppose that's why I'm supposed to protect this, because when you run out of gold, these are probably carrying gold. And I imagine that's useful. Right, I don't need all this stone. You lost. You may as well butcher the tree line. I feel somewhat insulted that the game auto saves itself because I failed to defend the convoy. How the hell is this place going to protect itself when I'm gone? Genuinely don't know. I think we got all the upgrades we want now, so that's good. I'm transitioning into mass farms and market for my gold needs. Got to enjoy the infinite food supply. Probably use your healing. 
That's a terrifying sight. He just marches out into the battlefield. His god will protect him. Okay, this is team one. Team one is tasked with defending. Team two will be everything I build from now on. They will be charged with attacking. Team two needs some time. I love the fact that they keep bringing these forces that can't attack anything on the walls. Ignore those. They're really not thinking it through, are they? Unexpected. Let's see, you can burn that down for me. I change a plan. Group one's going on the attack. Interestingly, these two Manganels are not part of Group 1, they're just getting carried along because they're in the middle of the group. Good work, Ben. I don't know, just trees. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't look at my army for five seconds, and now there's no army left. Just one more volley from the Manganels, and we're in business. Just wait, Ben, just wait. Patience. Fantastic. Oh, that's going to need some serious repairs. That, that isn't going to last, is it? Hammer, men. Hammer like you mean it. What oh, damn it, men. Harvest. Harvest like you mean it. We fall back. We re engage. The Arbalest take out the siege engines. Fight range with ranged, as you do. Rebuild the wall. Get everyone from group two back inside. Alright, group one is a tiny force now. 
We do what we can. Your idea. Okay, where's the market? Get to accrue some gold, quick. What are you doing? Just chop. Switching to more of a Spearman Archer setup once again just because it's gold cheap. You're idiots, all of you. It's a terrible matchup, by the way. The only way we win this is if somehow the Manganels get to shoot 20 times. Joke's on them. All farms are good. One of these days we are going to have to save a convoy, aren't we? I can see it coming. Okay, welcome. We got some spearmen to fight the horsemen. Progress. Potential progress. Not guaranteed. What we're also going to want is more production, I'd say. We'll do this and get more spearmen. Spearmen are nice and cheap. I'm running out of trees, though. Turn my army, please not suicide. This is a defense, remember, lads. Good start. Now, arbalests or arbaletrier are uh, not the best against light cavalry. The Manganales are pretty decent. And obviously spears are very good. Unfortunate that as we tried to attack, they also tried to attack. So we ended up meeting the defending army and the incoming army. It was a little unlucky. Okay, lots of spears coming. Uh, I need the hockey, the market. That's what I really need to do. I use this thing so often, I can never find it. The devil is it. I kind of want to attack with this force, but I wonder if. I wonder how the base is going to handle my absence. I have faith. Okay, I believe in them. We're going. No need to cheer just because you're getting healed. 
I know it's a good feeling and everything, but... I'd rather you stayed focused. Better horseman, don't need that. Something's got to be attacking me soon. Well, I was right. So I got that going for me. Did I tell you guys to attack the archers? Said you're just letting Jean do it by herself. Like the ambition. The main bridge leading to Orléans had been destroyed by the French to prevent an English onslaught. It's not wrong. Jeanne d'Arc had to find another way to cross to the south bank and make her assault on Les Tourelles. Okay, victory over there. Secondary team's looking strong. Couple of houses inside. You guys may as well get some farms going. Good, good, that's what I like to see. Best of luck. Unfortunate. The sacrifices will not be forgotten. Well, I mean, they will, but... Don't want to tell them that straight up. It's kind of demoralizing. A uh, small detachment. Deal with that. Tune up that wall for me. You know what else we could do? We could start building some towers. We got a lot of stone. The French army taught the eastern English fort. Securing a crossing to the south bank of the Loire River. I'm gonna burn these tents down as well. Take that. Absolutely no reason to do this, by the way. Not like them to focus on the wall rather than the uh, gate. New tactics. I'd rather we didn't risk the mangonels on this. Spring golds are very good against mangonels. Good work, everyone. Those are still building. You regroup with the team. Uh, sure, get more of those. Your duties are complete. Back to work. You guys can try to cross the river, but I don't think it's enough of a force to actually achieve it. You've single-handedly mined out all of the stone. I'm impressed. Hello there. How are you feeling today? Bravery is to be commended, but that was foolhardy. Good 
Shields up, lads. I don't even know what it does, but shields up. Sean, stop falling over. I do think it's kind of silly how I can just keep bringing her back to her feet. That fight seems to be going okay. Amazingly, so is this one. Okay, you guys just have some fun for a bit. Things are looking good. Progress is slow, but steady. Get sprinkles everywhere. Have a couple more of these. I can only help. Send a small detachment out to help Jean. Go away, small detachment. Thank you. Needs repairing. Tower, interestingly enough. Populations maxed out. Feel free to actually attack, guys. Those buildings aren't your friends. Somehow we did manage to keep both of the towers alive. I'm quite impressed. I like this idea. Let's build some more. That's not what I want. Want some more towers. You're doing quite well. I'm probably safe to send more units to help Jean, but no, it's just safer to leave a bigger army behind, I think. Last obstacle to later hell fell to ruin. That's right. Just ignore the fact that later hell itself is a fort. It's therefore very difficult for me to defeat with this army. Mangonels are okay. Knights are okay. They have torches. They're not great. Seems interesting. You can attack this with torches, but I don't think you can attack this with torches. Which, if I'm correct, is surprising because they're both made from stone.
Oh, good heavens. Why aren't you shooting? I'll give them that. They caught me off guard with this two-pronged attack. I'm reinforcing yet again. This time with a bit more. Faster, lads, faster. I do appreciate any level that gives me the trading post. Because it means I can essentially live off farms. Getting used to seeing this. Have a heal, everyone. Cheer for me. Half built battering rams all around the castle. Come on, that's it, Weagle. I wonder if there's going to be any defense at Le Torel. There's going to be something, right? Right, team one, let's do it. I just assume they can handle that. Maybe I'll get some repairs. Yep. I believe in my army. For the first time in my life. More healing for everyone. Your little wooden fence is adorable. A volley of three mangonels and archers is pretty devastating. I like it. They're also my best way of breaking down, well, the walls, but also the archers on the walls. The wood we can probably handle ourselves. Though it will take a while. Could build some rams. Might help here. Actually, you know what? I think I will build a ram. Can only help. You're now part of Team 1. Just don't feel like participating. In we go. 
was the linchpin in the English siege of Orléans, blocking the main supply route to the city. If Jean d'Arc could capture it, Orléans would finally be liberated. This is proving harder than I expected. That was satisfying though. What's that new force? Got some Manganel combat going on here. Okay, retreat. I don't want to lose all of these. That, I think that was a good fight for me overall. Oh, good heavens. Group 2, you have something to do. It's rare, but the moment has come. No, not my armory. That's finished upgrading everything. Please. Oh, wait, I use archers now. At what point do you just stop trying to trade? Word must be getting back that every trader just gets slaughtered on the road. That's it, keep them guessing. You can't aim your crossbows if we're warping up and down walls like maniacs. Where do you even shoot at? The top, the bottom, the middle? It's just a guessing game. It's out the way, let me deal with these. Good work, men. You're also now part of group two. Right, group one, back to it. Right, Jean, you're just taking a little nap on your on your horse there. She's, she's doing okay. One more volume, we should be in. I like the way my healing magics that I have, apparently. I don't know, it's supposed to be the religious aspect, I guess. Maybe it makes people feel like they can resist more than they actually can. Maybe that's the logic behind it, but it, it affects catapults is my point I'm trying to make here. Seems kind of silly. Look at this hero. Okay, we're gonna need an actual serious force here, aren't we? Or, or, no, nah, I've got a better plan. Get to work. Oh wait, that takes up supply. Damn it, my plan. Do not let that thing shoot. Oh, it did get off another shot. That's irritating. Alright, maybe we just send a huge army around the side. I believe in you guys. Base defences are reduced, but big army is on its way to finally end this. In the meantime, you guys, just keep building. It's okay, Joan has given us some, some good intel from the grave.
comes the next attack. This is going to be the hardest attack to actually defend then, but three mangonels behind walls. It's pretty good. I believe I just told my incoming army to chop down a tree. He managed to survive. I, I'm bringing some villagers, apparently. Group one is looking terrifying and ready to go. It's gonna take some killing, but don't worry about that. Force one, in we go. That's it, villagers. Lead the charge, the heroes. What are you gonna do? Build, build a little tower. Damn, that takes a long time to build. Everyone in. Rams on the fort. Mangonels on the things that matter. Someone revive our hero. One manga now shot on that wall and we win that fight. Okay, maybe not. Matters as well. This slot caused the mother of all distractions. Littorel is going down. Obviously, no reason to keep the archers here. The siege could have done it by themselves, I'm sure. But behold, we have done it. The king's army drove the hated enemy of France from Littorel. All right. You don't like us, I get it. To the city back in French hands, the English abandoned their long siege of Orléans. Celebrating a momentous victory at the head of the French army, Jeanne d'Arc would forever be remembered as the Maid of Orléans. Defeated by a little girl. Well, it's no worse than losing to a 70-year-old man, I suppose. Our history is full of characters. Next time, we'll be continuing with the French campaign. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.